All right, so we're ready to start. We got this adapter. We got this adapter with our card, and this is the PC3000 flash. Gonna just connect this. Connect this piece. Now set this aside. That goes in like that, and this slides in like this. Now we just need to create a new task and uh, start things up. So this is the task, uh, adapter is hooked up. Now we need to just uh, go ahead and read the ID of the chip. And if the wiring is done properly, and if the chip is not dead, we should get an ID in a form of um, some numbers like this. Read chip, we're gonna look at it uh, in direct mode first, just to make sure everything is lined up right and everything is uh, appearing in the form that it should be. We have some uh, bad bytes here. So these shifts are normal. We're gonna take care of them later. And let's do the read of the chip. So let's see, uh, it uh, locates uh, that it has four planes and it sees that there are uh, inserts so it's actually automatically gonna remove those uh, shifts. So as a first step, we do error correction and that's done. If we refer to the map, we see that it's 16 gigs out of which uh, we have only 77 megabytes uh, that have not been read. Uh, they're contained in 3000 plus uh, chains and uh, to reference what is good, we're gonna check these two. We have uh, four point uh, almost five gigabytes of content uh, that is good and corrected. Uh, the difference in the split uh, is these black sectors that aren't used for anything, they're just blank. So if we click anywhere, they just show FF. That means there is no data in it and um, they're not used for anything. So if we go into the, um, let's see, uh, uh, data, tools ECC and get information about ECC we see that this is uh, what our page um, description looks like so let's go ahead and uh, do this uh, in the page designer so we have 11 30 and 27 um, so since this is uh, 9000 plus there are gonna be eight ranges uh, which we're gonna calculate real quick with help of a calculator let's bring this up so 11 30 so that's um, gonna this this number comes from data area plus ECC uh, on SM controllers that's most likely what it's gonna be like so we're gonna copy this uh, sorry we're gonna multiply this by 8 I'm gonna copy this so 90 40 and we're gonna divide this in here. And this part gets divided proportionately into eight chunks. And this, I'm gonna go 27, then 24, then 24, 512, Um, this is data. This is the header. Um, gonna apply this. This is gonna be our pitch structure. Um, and we can go ahead and look for the XOR. If there's XOR, it uh, shouldn't be too difficult to locate. Go into data inspection, XOR analysis, and it gives us options for XORs 
3257, which I figured it was. I just worked on a similar case that wasn't monolithic, that the service area looked very uh, similar to. So we're gonna go and do SOAR analysis. And let's go and split this into blocks. Here we have some service area that looks very, very close. And obviously there is uh, an interleave by what it looks like. So let's go ahead and unite this. I'm gonna let it run for a bit more. It's finding a majority of JPEGs that it's locating are uh, red, but there are some green ones every now and then. So let's have a look at what size they are. Uh, so the big ones don't work, the small ones do work so there might be another interleave as well so we either have a wrong sore or we um, have something else uh, cooking up here what do the service areas look like in both parties Oops. They still look really close. Uh, we can do another join. On our J JPEGs and everything else pretty much looks much, much better now. Um, pictures are coming out with good green headers. Uh, now it's just a matter of uh, building the translation for it. So it looks like the file system got damaged a little bit, but uh, uh, we can still work on this thing and uh, hopefully improve it a little bit. There's still quite a bit of content that needs uh, corrections. So this is uh, the result of a little bit of cooling and as you can see that we still got a lot of red sectors here but we got pretty decent size uh, green passes here and there. Uh, let's reduce this down and see what we're else. So it took off two megabytes in this one pass, that was not bad. So let's run another one. So for these types of cases, guys, uh, there is something I purchased and I will uh, uh, show you in the, uh, an, in, the, in the future episodes how it could possibly help uh, some people with uh, improving the quality of the read like this. But for now, we just gotta work on ECC correction, bring it up as best as we can, and then the data will be ready to go back to the client. Thank you guys for checking this out. I'll see you in the next episode. Avec le